Chapter 24 No answer. Angelica and Mariana stood together in the hallway between their apartments. Angelica knew the reception was better there. Mariana knew that her neighbour would feel more confident if she wasn't stood outside someone else's home, and she felt invested in the conversation Angelica was trying to have. I wonder if I've upset him. And? Mariana asked. She was old enough in the tooth to know that a little upset was easy to heal, that life was far too short for grudges, and that if Javi Jones was going to mess her neighbour around, then she was better off without him. Good answer, well put, Angelica replied. She felt a lightness in life when she was around Mariana. The elderly neighbour didn't have much to say, but when she did, it was all worth listening to. Angelica resolved in her head to give Javi one more try. If he didn't answer, then she would give Delia a call and see if she was up for a girly night out. It was rare that Angelica was brave enough to ask Mariana to look after Tommy. Even though she knew the answer would pretty much always be positive, she didn't want to impose. Seeing as she had the freedom of a babysitter, Angelica would make the most of it. She dialed again. Javi didn't answer. Angelica didn't leave a voicemail. He would be able to see that she had tried to call him twice. Ball was now in his court. She was aware that him having another call might have been a real thing rather than just an excuse to get off the line and go out of an embarrassing conversation. He was a busy man, a detective, and there was a live investigation going on. Angelica sent Delia a text, asking what she was doing that evening, and left it at that. Hopefully one of the two people she was trying to get to come out with her would reply. If it was both of them, then she would have a dilemma. Mariana left her to it, agreeing to take care of Tommy that evening, no matter who Angelica went out with, even if she ended up going on her own. Angelica had grown accustomed to spending time on her own. She would happily eat a meal at a table by herself, or go to a movie without a companion. She was prepared to do that for a night out, away from home, with a little freedom. Javi had asked first, and deep down, she would prefer to spend some time with him. There was no pressure when they were together. She enjoyed his company, and he clearly enjoyed hers. She could relax with Javi. As for Delia, relaxation was never on the agenda. Delia would pressure Angelica to stay out late, to have too much to drink, to spill the beans on her love life to commit to coming out again in a few days' time. She loved her friend, but it wasn't always the most comfortable environment to be in. Angelica concluded that everyone had at least one friend just like Delia, and that was okay. She just hoped that Javi would call back first. And who knows, if she is on her own, she could go out and check the murder scene again. Anything for the thrill of the chase anything to feel a small part of the adulation her brother Augustine, the murder detective, got back at home. 